guys are hot! Welcome back to the Core Actual YouTube channel. Some of you have been asking me how to smoke a lox style salmon. So today I'm going to show you the simple and a cheaper way of uh, doing the smoking. It, this is, will be the cold smoking because the lox salmon, it, uh, it's, co it's cold smoke. That's why it maintains that consistency to where you could slice it thinly. The hot smoked salmon, of course, will flake off and you just might as well just throw it on the grill and you'll get the same result. So here I got two and a half pounds of this uh, steelhead salmon and uh, usually I try to stick to uh, non-farm raised wild caught salmon but if you're gonna do cold smoking you want something really fatty. So unfortunately I gotta use this uh, Atlantic farm raised uh, salmon just because I need the extra fat in it so that way it doesn't just flake off and uh, it's gonna be actually dry. I've tried doing this with uh, wild caught uh, coho salmon and it was good but it was just dry and flaky so that's what we're trying to avoid. So I waited for the weather to cool off because uh, you gotta keep the temperature really low below 60 degrees when you're doing this because otherwise even though uh, you're smoking with the with the pellets, the, the smoke still heats up the inside of the, the smoker. So here I'll show you, all you need is two ingredients and in how to do this. And uh, just uh, watch this. All right, so the first ingredient I'm gonna use is this coarsely ground sea salt. I usually use this uh, for rubs and stuff like that. You can usually get a big bag of this at the store and it will last you for years. I've had this one for probably like five years now. So all you gotta do is just put it in a nice a big dish like this. Because once you add salt to this, it's gonna start uh, getting the moisture out of the fish and things might get messy in the refrigerator. So just put a whole bunch of salt on this and just Rub this on here. It's a little too long, but it's not a big deal. And uh, don't worry about uh, if it looks like it's too much salt, because after it's done curing, we're gonna be rinsing this off anyway. So uh, back when I was growing up in Russia, I used to cure fish like this and then we would just dry it in the in the sun and it just makes uh, it's pretty much like fish jerky. I know to some of you it might sound disgusting but uh, you know it was actually pretty good. So the next ingredient is dark brown sugar. It's gonna give it a, a nice flavor. So I'll put a whole bunch of sugar on there and just rub it into the fish. Yeah, some people prefer to brine it. So pretty much you'd be uh, dissolving all the salt and the brown sugar in some uh, warm water, then letting it cool off to to where it's nice and cool so where you're not cooking the fish if you're gonna pour it too hot and uh, you just let it sit overnight. I mean, no, no way is the wrong way. It's just personal preference to me. This is faster because I don't wanna have to wait and cooling off the water when, when I'm doing this. So, so here we go. That's all you really need to do and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this uh, with some plastic, put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours, and you'll tomorrow morning, I'll show you how to smoke this. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so this is the following morning. So I took the salmon out of the refrigerator and we're just gonna rinse off the, the salt and the sugar off of the filet. So 
So after you rinse off the salt and the sugar, uh, just put it on a, on a wire rack and just pat it down to get all the extra water off of it. It doesn't have to be super dry, just pat it enough to where it's not dripping water all over the place. And then you're just gonna let it sit at room temperature for the next hour, hour and a half, when it dries off. So now we're gonna light up our smoke tube. So this uh, took some trial and error to learn how to do this properly because I just kept on lighting it and relighting it and it took forever. So I finally got smart and got a propane torch. So you just fill the tube all the way up with pellets. I just set it on the grill like this and uh, just hold it there for a few minutes until you get a nice steady flame to where the propane tank is not needed anymore. So once it's, uh, it, it's lit, you just uh, let it burn out for approximately 10 minutes. So that's what, as you can see, the flame is perfect right now, like a torch. So now, as you can see, it's been approximately 10 minutes and you see you got some uh, nice coals going in there. You just blow out the flame and uh, just put it in the smoker. As you can see, this is my, my hot smoker. So I just use the box and just gently place it on the bottom. As you can see, my fillet is already in there. And um, this will last approximately five hours. So from what I've been using, it's been on average five to six hours of uh, steady smoke on a full tube. Okay, now as you can see, I've been using my uh, external digital thermometer. This one gives me Bluetooth notifications and as you see, it's 88 degrees, which is still uh, 20 degrees uh, hotter than I like it to be. All right, welcome back everyone. So I just finished uh, smoking my salmon. It took me about three days to film this just because I was doing this in between uh, work. So today is day three. So this is the, my last day of the filming. And as you see in the video, the salmon took me about five hours to cook total. So here's the end result. As you can see, it's my breakfast. It's uh, usually I put it on a sprouted wheat toast and some cream cheese and that's all you need. So it turned out perfectly. It's not dry at all. It's, uh, it's got a nice uh, moist consistency. It's just not the consistency to where you could slice it. In order to do that, you got to bring the temperature way down. As you'll see in the video, it was, uh, this, it was about 35 degrees outside all day and it was overcast and it was still in the 80s inside the smoker. So the key is to keep it down in like 60 degree temperature and that would require a longer time to smoke. But obviously I had to go to work so I didn't have much time to sit all day and monitor the smoking process. So it was expedited. So five hours is just still a little short, but I, next time I would probably use a, a cooler day or I'll just add an ice tray. Usually that's what people do when they're doing cold smoking, especially fish. They will throw in an uh, ice tray in the, in the middle rack and that way it'll keep the temperature down. So I'll do that next time when I, ha I have a full day to do this, but this is just a nice, quick and a cheaper way to cold smoke a salmon because this only cost me $24 for the entire two and a half pound filet of salmon. While you get the one at the store, it'll cost you $20 just for like 16 ounces. So if you wanna give this a try, this is nice and uh, easy way to do this. 
Uh, I could throw some links in the below for the for that smoke tube. If anything, just go to Amazon and just type in uh, pellet smoker uh, smoke tube, and there's all kinds of them. Only 12 bucks, so can't beat that price. So I hope you all are enjoying the content. Got a lot of stuff on the way, and um, it's winter time right now, so things are kind of slowing down. But I'll still try to keep it interesting with the uh, with the cooking and the training. And uh, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel and please share it with your friends. So we're at like 730 subscribers already. And we just started this channel in March when this whole COVID thing started. So I say that's pretty good. So I appreciate all of you who subscribed and who keep watching my videos and who find any benefit in any of my content. So. Stay tuned, follow us on Instagram to the core actual at the Russian assassin and officer 178 and we'll see you on the next one.